Oh yeah, hey what's up everybody, Trey Hardy here. Today I'm bringing you another vlog. Today we are at Zoo Atlanta. It's a zoo here in Atlanta, Georgia. We're gonna go inside and uh, have some good times. Let's go. All right, first up we have the elephants. Looks like there are two in here. Oh, I forgot I can't zoom in too far. I got that broken lens still. Such magnificent creatures. Be the animal. Okay. It's a zebra skull. Zebra stripes are believed to aid in repelling insects, regulating body temperature and or blending in with the herd. Got a meerkat skull. Dark patches around meerkat's eyes are believed to protect them from the glare of the sun. Got a warthog. Warthog body here. It's sparse, but they have a thick mane along their backs. Nice. Where the fuck this is? Male Cory Bustards inflate their throats and make a booming noise to attract females. We got the ostrich. Ostriches lay the largest eggs of all living animals. Their volume is equivalent to over 20 chicken eggs. Dark, the dark purple color of giraffe tongues is believed to protect them from sunburn. Like most cats, lions have retractable claws which aid in hunting and marking their territory but otherwise are kept protected by a fleshy sheath within the paw. That's a tiger paw or a lion paw. No, it's just the paw, yeah. And that's the skull. Okay, we got some meerkats today. Let me go to the other side and see if I can get a better view. Yeah, you're a meerkat. How are you adapted to survive? You have a mob mentality. Meerkats are highly social animals, living in territorial groups called mobs. Mobs may number up to 50 individuals and may be made up of multiple family groups. You're task oriented. Living in groups has an advantage for meerkats that every group member has a task. One meerkat acts as a lookout or sentinel and sounds an alarm of dangers nearby. Meerkats have specific alarm calls to different, 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 I don't know how to pronounce that, terrestrial, Predators from aerial predators. Your son Savy. The distinctive dark patches of meerkat's eyes are thought to serve as natural shades from the glare of the sun. Meerkats also escape the heat by digging burrows with their large claws. You're serious about your territory. Meerkat mobs are territorial and outsiders are typically not welcome. Meerkats have scent pouches located below their tails and that they rub on rocks and plants to mark their territory. Your family matters. Each family group is made up of a breeding pair and their offspring. Meerkat fathers play an active role in guarding the young. Non-breeding members of the group also help care for the offspring by guarding, provisioning, and playing with the young. Mob families spend much of their time grooming and playing to reinforce familial bonds and as community existence helps meerkats survive. Okay, let's go to the other side so we can get some better shots. I can't zoom in too far because my lens is still broken on the inside of the camera, so forgive me, y'all. There's one right there. Aww. How cute. Hi, baby. Good. I didn't know they had those little lines on their back. And there's something over here, or is this more meerkats? I don't think there's anything in there. I don't see nothing. Whatever. Okay, so. <laughs> little reading thing about elephants the powerful trunk can crush down a small tree it is also nimble enough to pick up an item as small as a dime <laughs> elephants are herbivores they eat plants grass leaves and fruit male elephants can weigh up to 14,000 pounds which is about the weight of three mid-sized pickup trucks holy shit an elephant has one inch thick skin, but the skin is still sensitive enough to feel a fly land on it. Isn't that cool? Oh, elephants can produce several hundred pounds of poop a day. 
That's what it says in there. Whoa. Several, several hundred pounds this of is it. Oh, that's supposed yeah. to be it. You're yeah. The Elephants apply water and mud to their skin for natural protection from You're the sun. You're stepping in the water. <laughs> I know. <laughs> You're stepping on the poop. <laughs> that's the water. Elephants that's flap their cool. ears to create their own personal air conditioning system. You always wonder why they did that. They flap to yeah. make air conditioning? Tusks can grow to 10 feet long. Holy crap. Where? The top? How can millions reach those ears? Ten feet tall. So we actually came to a dead end. This don't make no and this is like a little statue of an elephant. Okay, there's the rhino. He's just sitting there eating. The black rhino's the rhino, but I don't know what the difference is. It's like a different... He's just sitting there eating. Yeah. Is it white? It's not actually like the color. Don't know. Daddy's gone. Bye-bye. we got the lions. There's at, least, there's at least three of them up there that I can see. Sorry, the window is kind of... Shady. Let's see if I can get a better look later. This is the African lion. There's three males. You know what's crazy? Lions are normally uh, alphas. The most you'll see in the pack is two males, but there's three up there. Yeah, I'll see if I can find a better view because this window is kind of foggy. And inside that little cave, and there's one right there. There's another one behind the bushes. Sorry, I can't zoom in too far because that lens is still broke on the inside. Oh, there's the third one. He's back there. Right. Alrighty. Okay, what we have here are some lovely warthogs. This one's over here digging a hole. Yeah, homie just digging. So he's trying to get out of there. All right, I see some zebras and ostriches one over, so let's go over there. Okay, we got some ostriches here. This morning I was staying in Tampa. One of my neighbors had a pet ostrich and that bitch got loose. That was funny. Oh, wow. That's big. The warthogs are over there. There's some zebras out there. I'm going to walk over there in a second and get them. Okay, let's go get the zebras. Yeah. There are the zebras. There's a giraffe up there. I'm going to try and get over there later. Okay, I can't zoom in too far. I gotta get another camera to get this fixed. But yeah, those are the zebras. It's chilling out, getting some shade. The ostriches are over there. All right, let's try and go up there and get that giraffe. Okay, the zebras came over. They're very, they're very, they're very, um, social. What do they like? Beautiful. Some turtles and fish in this one. Well, it's kind of bright out here, so I can't really get a good look. So let's go inside the. Okay, we got. Oh, it's snake. Snake. Let's talk about frogs. The moral king snake. Okay, gray rat snake. That's what this one is. Uh, he might be in there hiding somewhere. Okay. 
Okay, there you go. Is it a minute? Copper head, yes. Don't know what's in this one. Yeah, some of these animals. Okay, there's a fish. Some of these animals might be on the side. Okay. Turtles. There we go. Oh my god, that is Well, that's a big boy. That's Bowser. I believe that's a. I believe that's an alligator snapping turtle. I was inside the uh, reptile exhibit. You can see better on inside. Baby, he's looking at you. I don't think he wants to be my friend. I think he wants to bite me. <laughs> if he does, he's not letting go. Mm -hmm, yeah. These things are mean. The croc zone. Let's see if there's any more. I didn't invite you. Okay, fine. Here, I do that, everything goes down. Let's try and find a crop now. Where? Oh, see anything in there? Excuse me. I think there's only one in there, one crop. Oh, I see my feet. Well, it's not a crop, that's a Gary. The nose. I think it's a Gary. It said I couldn't see anything. Okay. There's a lizard in the tree right there. I'm tree one there. Come on, the habitat. Some big boys. There's a python so. Okay, he's over there in the corner right there. <laughs> oh, there's another one up there. He's up there sleeping and chilling. Look at the big snake. Whoa, what is that? What's in here? Okay, got some turtles. Look at this turtle. They just chilling. Oh, yeah. I don't see anything over here. Or up there. How about down here? Nope, I don't see them down there. It's a giant zoo. Oh, right. 
Hey, could you return the paper? Yes, I can. Excuse me, a rattlesnake in there? Damn, everybody hiding today. Supposed to be some box turtles in there. I don't see him. Yeah, I don't see any frogs. I think they're high today. Man, all the animals are hiding today. Ooh, there's that big snake for me. Supposed to be something here. That's a big one right there. Too. Okay, he's wrapped around the tree. Look at this one, did you? The green snake. Look. Take a look at some more tree snakes. You see that there? Just chilling. Probably in the back. 
I'm recording this art. Right. We're right there. There's supposed to be some ballast in here, like little tree lizards. They're probably in the back or the other side. Python in here, I don't see it. Okay, there's a lizard right there in that tree. That's the Cayman lizard. There's another one. Snake. Oh, that's not the rattlesnake. That's the bearded lizard. I was gonna say, when rattlesnakes have legs and arms. Okay. The rattlesnake is supposed to be. That's it for the reptile enclosure. Okay, we are in the living tree house. And yeah, I stopped reading these things a while back. But uh, we got some lemurs over here. Yep. Looks like there's a little monkey on the other side. Uh, chilling by the light. There's also another lemur down there at the bottom. Oh, there's no little monkeys. There he is. Got some birds. Yeah, we saw One actually came up here. Hi, sweetie. Good job. <laughs> I guess that's your other friend. <laughs> I hope you're not seeing it. You're going to sort it out. Oh, he's playing with his tail. Did you see what he did? He grabbed his tail and then ran. Look, 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 look. He's messing with him. <laughs> Try to follow, see what happens if you turn around and smack. Look at that little guy. There's a big one. Yes, he is. He's beautiful. Oh, look at that. Here they come. Oh, look at that. 
We got Rafiki. The homie sitting there with a heart on. Got one over there. And I think there's a. Unless that was it. Yeah, look at the little one behind them. Let's see if they play. Too bad. Look at them. Oh, yeah, they're going to play. Look at them. Yeah, they got an interesting bottom, don't they? Yeah. He's running. That one has a PR and tail turn. Well, there's a third one. Where are you over there? There's a pink button. I read this was basically teaching you, you know about what gorillas do when they wake up and when they go to bed but uh got some gorillas right here and then one right there and i think there's one there's two way out there i'll try to get closer oh yeah there's another one way way out there's one way, way out. I can't zoom in that far, unfortunately. Okay. This is the exotic birds. You probably can't see them because it's really bright out here, but there's a few flying around. There's an owl up there in that box. Yeah. I mean, I thought it was an actual dead zebra. It's like a fake one. Okay, we got a lappet-faced vulture. He's a big boy. That southern white rhinoceros, or well, the other one. I guess they got them temporary quarantine, him or her. I've never seen one of these in person. The bald eagle. This is my first time actually seeing one. I didn't know you were allowed to have one in captivity. I thought that was like a protected animal by the United States government. Guess we can read it. Bald eagle. I don't know how to pronounce that Latin shit. <laughs> uh, food carnivore. Habitat forest, wetlands, woodlands, range, North America. Conservation status thinks a conversation action bald eagles once endangered by habitat destruction and poisoning were removed from the endangered species list in 2007. As, in, as is the case with most birds of prey, male bald eagles are significantly smaller than their female counterparts. Oh, oh. It's eagly. I don't know why he was just flying around like that. I thought he was going to attack something. Yeah, I just can't believe I never saw one of these in person. Bald Eagle. We can read this. His story. 
I think it's Sequoia. Sequoia experienced an injury that affected his future ability to succeed in the wild. He was returned to health by a rehabilitation center, but because of his permanent wing injury, he was in need of a lifelong home, a lifelong home and a human care. Zoo Atlanta holds a permit from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to house this bird, allowing us to introduce his magnificent species to you. Okay. So I guess you can have them. Bald eagles are often injured by power lines, illegal hunting, and collisions with cars. All rehabilitated bald eagles, which are able to be released in the wild, are required to be released into the wild. Bald eagles seen in zoos and wildlife centers have sustained injuries that limit their ability to survive on their own. Here we got some birdies over here in the back. It's a mixture of pigeons, plant, plant eaters, and buffalo weavers. Then we got the king vulture. Chilling like a villain. We got the white face whistling duck. Oh yeah. Beautiful, aren't they? This one. Let me zoom in on this one. Ugh. All right, let's go on with this adventure. What we have here is the milky eagle owl, who's right there. Oh yeah, that's a big boy. All right, there's another cage over here. Okay, yeah, they're up there in the tree. Some more over here. Right there. But there's another cage over here. See us in this one. I heard something. Oh, he's up there. There's a few more over here. Which one are you, though? A zero wing magpie. So we got some golden lion tamarins. Sorry, that bright sun. Oh, yeah. Whew. See if I can find some shade. Okay, this should be a little bit better. Let's say one, two. I can see four. It's probably about five or six in there. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, right here we got the European rabbit. Or I like to say. Looking like a double wide surprise. God damn. Yeah, that damn Meat Canyon cartoon. Ever since then, I can't look at a rabbit the same without thinking about Bugs Bunny gripping Elmer Fudd's ass cheeks, talking about, you looking like, oh, uh, what's it say? Oh, uh, you got a tight man, pussy, don't you? Yeah, that was disturbing. Hmm. All right, what we have here is a pollination observation garden. So, we just go around and look at plants and shit. We can read some signs on the way. Okay, quiet area. All right. How many kinds of flowers do you see? The pink turtle head, the harvest moon coneflower, bears breeches. I'm sorry, but all these plants look dead as shit. Like, bro, look, I'm like, everything out here looks dead. I'm sorry. The anatomy of a flower. What parts are involved in pollination? The fuck was that behind me? Stigma, where the pollen gets deposited. Pistil, where the pollinators find the nectar to eat. Style, the tube through which the pollen travels to the eggs. 
petals attract the pollinators. Anther, the pollen producing part of the plant. Sepal, the green and leaf like parts that enclose the develop close a developing bud. Filament, stalk like structure that supports the anther. How does pollination work? Pollination occurs when pollen from another of one flower is carried to the pistil of another flower by pollinating animals or by the wind. Pistil anther. Choo choo, time to run a train. Okay, let me stop. <laughs> pollination observation garden. Okay, it's like we got some stuff up here. Got some, uh, the statues that's the dead end conservation arc I wonder what this is all right there's some giant tortoises I saw back earlier where they usually have them they put them in the greenhouse because i guess the season so they keep them in here so far it's like there's only two of them in there the aldebra giant tortoise yeah it looks like they're in there sleeping so we won't bother them either uh, waddled crane oh, no, you just missed it because it's on the other side of the bush here come back They're getting fed. Hmm. Cooney Coon Pig. No, it's sleeping, but we got more over here. We got alpacas. So let's get a little closer look. Oh, wow. They're just sitting there having their little lunch. There's another one over there in the corner in the shade. Vulture. I'm sitting right there chilling. What we have here is the chinchilla, but he's underneath. He's inside that little log right there sleeping, so we'll leave him alone. Got the hooded vulture. Sitting there chilling. And then there's something over here. I think there's something else in there. Yep, it's in the back. Yep, there's one right here. That would be the white stork. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's over here. I see a turtle already. A couple turtles. You want that? Couple species of turtles in here. Just relaxing, getting some sun. It was a gold lion uh, tamarind. And there's a sloth in here somewhere, supposedly. I'm looking for it. Well, there's two of them up there. Okay, I don't see the sloth. All right, on to the next one. This is a petting zoo. It's kind of crowded. The goats are getting fed. Yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna let them eat because it's like too crowded here. Laughing kookaburra. Doesn't like he's laughing. The leopard is right there, but he's sleeping. Yeah. 
So let's see if we can find the tiger. Seems like a lot of animals are sleepy today. I don't see no tiger. He must be sleeping somewhere. Sun bear. Did you see it? Did you say goodbye to the bear? Have a good nap. There's the tiger. I couldn't see earlier. He really wants to see where he goes. Yeah. Right there. Look at this. Are you going to give him some urine? Those are some giant otters. Can't zoom in too far because the broken lens on the inside, but yeah. It's about a good three, four feet long. All do drip. Weirdest animals. I just had my somebody's hurt. That was fun. That one's eating. <laughs> Look. Look. Look at him. I need a orangutan. I couldn't see him from the other side earlier. There was like two or three of them up there. I couldn't be like sleeping. Oh yeah, the red panda. The red panda. Good team, thank you. Oh, oh good, look at you. Excellent photography. Let's see what's on the other side over here. You need me to wear that? Oh, okay, this is a tortoise exhibit. They put them up for the season. Looks like they finally came out. All right, this is the last stop of the vlog. So, this is the panda, just like half the animals here. He's asleep. <laughs> He's up there, knocked it up. All right, everybody. It's uh, Trey Hardy here. Gonna go ahead and leave the zoo. Did everything except feed the giraffes, but uh, had such a great time. I'm actually going someplace else now to do a second vlog. So uh, I'll see y'all soon on another more epic adventure. Peace out.